Hello viewers, we're just catching up on a bit of news from recent days. A Destruction All-Stars trailer has been released for PlayStation 5. Let's take a look. Welcome to Destruction All-Stars. I'm Aaron James. And I'm Mia Chan. For tonight's main event, let's recap the action from last week when Lupita delivered an absolute masterclass. She immediately acquires a fast vehicle. Genesis in her sights. Hits the slam. Oh, wreck. Perfect timing for maximum devastation. Jeff's performance has earned his special ability breaker and a new ride with invisibility. And Lupita has not seen him coming at her. She was asleep at the wheel there. Absolutely. And her vehicle showing it's built for speed, not taken down. She's been wrecked, so now on foot. This is going to test her. Lupita, charge now. Ignite her breaker. A killer move. Looks like Shift is hungry for more, but the gravity-defying evade comes at the last second. Fantastic. Fuego comes out of nowhere, and now Lupita is right on top of him. Didn't need a right to read it. She's ready to take this fool by the wall. Lupita's back in the saddle, a textbook takeover. Enough wrecks in her way. She calls in wildfire. Oh, yeah, and it's all over now. At the perfect moment, she deploys her vehicle breaker to bring the heat. Lupita blazes her way through the competition, lighting up the arena. That was a night to remember and one for the Wolfpack. But can she find the win this season? No doubt she wants it, Aaron, but there's 15 other athletes who want it just as bad. Prepare yourselves for the most explosive season in history, right here on Destruction All-Stars. So PlayStation All-Stars, one of those games that was shown early on for PlayStation 5. Visually looking very impressive, lots of lighting effects, there's a great solidity to the graphics. Really looking very special indeed in terms of visuals, destruction in terms of the vehicles and stuff like that. And they've got a real concept that they want to bring together. Uh, it's, it's a mix really, I guess you think, you think of Rocket League and Fortnite in terms of its style. The characters are more Fortnite, I guess, in their way. It doesn't appeal to me in terms from a character perspective. They're not, I don't like the characters. Uh, I, I can see why they've designed them that way. I don't like them particularly. I don't feel there's any, they seem very nice to me. I don't know, I'm just not keen on them. I guess it's kind of a twisted metal vibe though. Never liked the characters really in that either, but it did really well. Uh, so it's got, it looks, it looks, it's got the style. It's got the looks, it's got the bits and pieces there. How will it play? Will it keep you going? Will it keep you engaged? We'll have to wait and see. Uh, I would ask for a hands-on. I doubt we'll get a hands-on pre-release. So uh, it just depends what Sony wants to do with it. They're going to release it on PlayStation Plus for free, as I understand it, early in the new year, which is great to get it out there, get a mass following for something like this. If it's going to be a massively multiplayer online game, it's going to need that support to kick it off, and we'll see where it goes. But um, that's it for this look at Destruction All-Stars, and there'll be more from me very soon. Hello, viewers. Well, thanks for watching the video today. Do like and subscribe. It supports what we do. Do become a YouTube member. YouTube perhaps you in supports all of our content you see on the channel and of course lots of gaming from retro to modern games i love it all in terms of racing action so click on one of the two videos just there to find out more